Masseuse is shot and killed in Cincinnati. Well, that cow kept traffic from moving on the Western Hills Viaduct earlier today while someone from the slaughterhouse was chasing it down after it had escaped. Not on your sides, Jordan Burgess has the story of how it all ended. There he is. Cincinnati roads may be rough, but cow paths, not until today. An escaped cow turned the Western Hills Viaduct into a cattle drive, blocking traffic and charging at those trying to corral it. Out here working, and next thing I know, someone hollered, there's a cow. Ron Zumwaldy ducked behind this tree here on Harrison Avenue for safety. He captured the final standoff between the cow and a worker from the slaughterhouse who had been chasing it with a gun. The cow charged him. Um, he shot it with a 22 long rifle. The cow was hit twice and killed. We wanted to know how it got loose in the first place from the Tri-State Beef Company. Right, there was three cows. Two of them were corralled correctly, and uh, this one uh, went out the went out the back gate basically. The cow ran for a little more than a mile, but was only on the loose for a few minutes. A much different story than that of the cow in Cincinnati, who gained worldwide fame in 2002. The cow, later dubbed Cincy Freedom, jumped a fence and was on the loose for more than a week before being caught. She lived out her days on a New York farm, passing away in 2008. This cow wasn't as fortunate, but her run for freedom will live on for those along the now wild Western Hills Viaduct. It, it's different. You don't see it every day. And police say the worker who chased down that cow was hurt in the process. He hurt his leg. I talked with the company. They say he should be okay. Reporting live, Jordan Burgess, 9 on your side.